What about you, Cecilia? Um, your work has consistently provided an insight into our history as Filipinos. What has your journey been like? Um, actually, it's an exciting journey. <laughs> I have to just say it out there. Um, there have been a lot of difficulties, uh, but you know, there have always been people, there have been people who've shown up and, and helped, helped uh, make the journey a little easier. Um, I was born and raised in Cebu and I came to this country uh, to do graduate work in filmmaking at UCLA. And it's a long story, but I'll truncate it. Along the way, I gave up the filmmaking and uh, as a wife and mother, um, I, I started dabbling in writing and then I started writing. And as I was writing, I, um, I had to work to find my, my Filipino voice because you know, there was so much Hemingway and Faulkner in there that that was sort of like what was coming out. And when I was doing that, I had to look, I had to look at where I came from, Cebu. Of course, in my writing, it became Ubek not just Cebu, but the Philippines. And there were many little funny things too that would come along and I had to make adjustments in my head. Uh, just as an example, uh, the turn of the century Philippine American award insurgents were called insurgents. Uh, Ferdinand Magellan discovered the Philippines. <laughs> I had to think these things through. And the writing helped me do that. And so you, if one looks at my works, actually, they're looking at 1521, trying to see it from the Philippine point of view, not the Spaniards discovering us, because we have been there forever. Um, and uh, World War II was another topic in my When the Rainbow Goddess Wept that I looked at. Uh, and then recently, The Newspaper Widow, my third novel, was looking at the period called the American period in 1909. And this was the era of my great grandmother. And so looking at those historical times gives me a greater understanding and an appreciation of being Filipino and be being Filipino American. There's another thing that's come up in the writing and Apparently, I write a lot about women, and I don't consciously do that. Um, but uh, so there's another discrepancy here because Filipinas are supposed to be shy and passive and you know sweet and all of this, and yet I came from a family of strong women, and so again I had to like think that through. And I remember my mother when I got married, she came to me one on one. She goes, "You know, die." Tell your husband what he wants to hear, but you do what you want to do. <laughs> this was before women's lip days, you know? So, uh, but at the same time, you see this like sweet, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, woman. So these things have come out in the writing. Um, so I don't know if that answers the, the question, but there it is. Well, Cecilia, I have to add, that your novel, um, The Newspaper Widow, um, is a master who done it. It uh, definitely gives a glimpse of Philippine history during the American period, particularly how much steel in their spine our foremothers truly possessed to birth a new um, era.